Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beagles Games Guitars. In today's video, I'm doing a redemption playthrough of Uwe Rosenberg's Neusfjord. Neusfjord is a 1-5 player game where you are the major fishing company in Neusfjord on the Lofoten Archipelago. Your goal is to develop and expand the harbor and the surrounding landscape. So the basic overview of this game is that you're going to be taking actions by placing your workers out onto the main action board very similar to a lot of his other games and then you'll be performing those actions which mainly consist of getting either wood gold and fish building buildings taking and using elders or building ships that's basically the whole like gist of the game is surrounded about around these elders fish and wood so there's a nice display of buildings and throughout the game, I'm going to be building these, placing them into my main board, as well as building ships and placing them onto my main board as well. As the more buildings I build, the more points I will get, and the more ships I build, the more fish I'm going to get every round. So in the solo game, this consists of seven rounds, and I'll be playing opposing colors. So I will place my three out there. And then the next round, I'm going to place the other three. So it's very similar to a Feast for Odin's play style, where you will be blocking yourself. So it's technically not having the run in AI, or just two different colors. And you can't take the same action twice. So you really got to think about when you need to do what you need to do. So I'm going to pause here, and I'm actually going to put the elders out here, because I forgot to do that. So I wanted to preface this video by saying that I've been playing the solo round wrong this whole time, but one little mistake, I have not been, been putting Elder number 7 out, which is the Builder. It is a 1 plus card, so you place it out here, and once you run out of spaces 1 through 6, you just start stacking them on top of the other Elders, so you can't get Elder number 1 until Elder number 7 is available, or he is not covered up. And I actually kind of like this card. This might help me out. So this game plays just like a lot of other Uwe Rosenberg games in phases. So there's a fishing phase where you're going to distribute fish according to certain areas. And certain areas have priority over each other. So your elders always come first. Feed your elders. And then after that, shares that are in foreign possession. And after that, shares in your personal supply. And then you'll place stuff in your reserve. And then everything else will just get pushed away into the general supply over here. So how this works, I'm going to go ahead and get started with, I guess, this fishing phase here. So I'm going to be feeding my elders. So you will get the number, the leftmost number, which is three. So I have three fish. I'm going to feed my elders. I have no elders. So, none go to my elders. Shares in foreign possession. There are none in foreign possession. And then shares in your personal supply. Right now, I only have two shares. These unissued ones do not count. And then you put stuff in your reserve. And then the rest go to the general supply. So that is the phase. Then you'll take things off of shares and then put them in your supply. So that is how a fishing phase works. Once the fishing phase is done, you'll take your actions, and then you'll bring the workers home in a two the five player game. For this game, you'll just leave them there, and you're going to switch every other round. So I won't bring workers back until round two. Throughout the round, more cards will be coming out, less so in a solo and two player game. So in rounds four and six, C buildings are going to come out. They're more in game scoring. Versus these are kind of like ongoing benefits that'll help me. Just wanted to give a quick rundown of each action space here. So there's really not that many. They're mainly all here. And you can take elder actions once they're in your area. But mainly you're going to be getting gold. Transferring your reserve to your personal supply. Serving fish for the elders to use. Building buildings. Building a ship taking those elders and then these are the forest areas where you're either going to deforest by removing one thinning out by getting wood per forest or you can put forest tiles back on you can also issue shares so since you're a fishing company you have shares in your company and you have five of them 
two of them are yours, but you can place out an unissued share and have it there available for another player to pick up. But in a solo game, you can buy, and in a normal game, you can buy your own share back. And a share is worth a point at the end of the game. Unissued shares are negative one point. So you want to get rid of these shares. So this is issuing the share, and that's buying the share. And that's pretty much all the actions that you do. You just got to figure out when to use them where. So let's get started. Okay, so I need to get some gold here. So I really wouldn't mind building this chief's house with each new elder one gold into your reserve and it costs two fish and one gold i currently have two fish but no gold but i can issue one share and get two gold so i'm starting with the red player i'll issue one of my shares for two gold so i just place that out there it is now issued so when i do the fishing phase i have to put fish on that foreign share Now that I have some gold, I wouldn't mind building a building. So now I will pay the depicted cost on the chef's house, which is two fish and one gold. And I will place that right here on my home board. So with each new elder, one gold into your reserve. So now that I will get an elder, I'm getting a gold over here. And I have to transfer my reserve to my supply in order to use that gold. So... I guess in this game I'm going to be focusing on getting elders. So I'm going to take an elder. And you can use him immediately after. So I'm taking this elder, the forest manager. And by using him, you use the fish that are on the plates out here. That's the fish that they like to use. So place one fish on there. The forest manager lets me remove two forests, get five wood and one gold. So I will take off two forests. This top space has two of them on there. And now I get five wood and one gold. So now I am out of players. So instead of taking them back, let me just go right into the next round. So let's do the fishing phase. I have three fish. So I have to feed my elders. I have to feed f foreign possessions and then possessions in my supply. I have no more fish to do reserve or general supply, so we are done. So this fish just goes back to the supply because there's no player to take that. So now I, I only get one fish. So now we are in round two. I'll be the blue player for round two. One thing to note, once a elder has three fish on there, immediately you'll remove all three of them, place one into your personal supply, and the other two back in the reserve. So it's an incentive to use your elders. You'll get a fish out of it every third time you use them. I'm so close to being able to build a cutter. I just need one more wood. I feel like I'm going to use a thin out and get two, one per forest, so that's two wood. I want to build a ship, which is for six wood and one gold. So two, four, five, six wood and one gold. I now purchase the cutter. You slide it down here on your board, so now when I do the fishing haul, I get six fish this time. One more worker, what do I do? Ah, I forgot to use my building. With each new elder, one gold into your reserve. So I could build a building. This cost one of all three. One wood, one fish, one gold. So one fish, one wood, one gold. I am completely spent on all my resources. So before you use an elder, serve fish, but only one plate. So when you serve fish, you have to give up fish equal to the number on the plate. In the normal serve fish action, you'll get one gold per plate that you served, and you can serve any number of plates as long as you have the fish to pay for it. Now round two is done, so I will take my red workers back 
and we are going to go into round three. So now I get six fish. There's six. So feed my elders. So now that there's three, two go off. One goes in my personal. Four in possession. Shares in personal possession. Your reserve. And then now the general supply. The most you can have over here is eight. So once you've maxed out on eight, the rest just have to go to the supply. So boohoo. Wouldn't mind getting my fish for my supply because then I could serve fish. So I could do one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'd have six, so that'd give me three gold, plus this gold, and I could buy that schooner later on by taking an elder and using that. Ha, huh, I like it. So let me transfer my reserve. When you do that, it goes to your personal supply. And now that I've done that, I would like to serve fish, one gold per plate, you only have to have one fish up there to symbolize the plate being served. But I do that just to show that I can do it. So I get three gold as a result of that. So now I have four gold total. And I would like to take an elder. So I'll take the constructor, which lets you build a ship or a building place him over here so with each new elder one gold into my reserve and I will use this elder to build a ship so the schooner cost eight wood eight fish or four gold I'm gonna pay that four gold so the schooner goes over here so now I'll get eight fish for the fishing hall phase so we're gonna move into round four so uh Four C buildings will come out during this phase. I see those C buildings and it's my favorite letter. So, round four. If I remember, the blue comes back. No, I will get eight fish. Eight fishies. Elders. Feed my elders. Foreign. Personal. Reserve. Supply. Now we're in round four. Let me think for a second. So I need to get some wood, and I can use my elders. So close, so close to having what I need to do, a little combo here. So I need one more fish to be able to do this serve one plate action. I'm going to go ahead and just do it though. Here. That fish goes on there. Remove two forests. Get five wood. And a gold. And unfortunately, I do not have enough. Oh, uh, before you use an elder and not after. So, so close. I'm going to build a building. I'm going to try this sailor's home. Immediately one gold on each of your elders. Take gold from Elder when you use him. So that costs four of my wood and my two fish. Immediately one gold on each Elder. So now when I get to use them later, yay. I don't have enough anything to build anything. I'm going to issue a share out here for two gold. Probably going to buy them later. So max 12 wood in your supply. Just saying that. Now we're going in the round five. Red team. Now I still get eight fish. 
three, six, eight. Feed the elders. Oh, nice. They both got me fishies. So then two for four in possession. I'm just going to symbolize that. There. My reserve. Reserve's looking nice. Round five. Wouldn't mind getting some gold to build another schooner. And using my elder to do so. So, transfer the reserve to get all these fish. And now I will use my elder. So, before you use an elder, serve fish. So, these two give me a gold. Only one plate. I get that gold when you use him. And now I am placing that plate I just served for him to build a ship. So for four gold, I'm going to build another schooner. That was a nice little combo. I actually feel like buying all the shares. So in rounds four of the five, it's one gold discount. And it's one gold per share. So this only cost me one gold. Probably going to get a negative point at the end of the game. So now we're going into round six. Three more sea buildings. Blue team. Ah. So now I get 11 fishies. Feed the elders. No foreign possessions now. So there we go. And this is five fish. So now we're in the next phase. I have a lot of fish. I'm trying to go for this bank center. And unfortunately, I need the reforest. I gotta kinda waste some actions. Reforest. Place two forests on a double. This will be kind of silly here. And then him. I get to remove two forests to get five wood. And before I use an elder, I can serve fish. So it was actually this one here. So I place these two to get a gold and now I play him on top of there to do that just kind of retcon that five wood and a gold thinking 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 building a building so I thought I said yeah the bank center so for four wood three fish which these should be over here and one gold. Now it's immediately one gold per issued share in your supply. So that's four. I'm going to trade this for a five. Well, I was. There we go. Okay, now we're in the final round. Red team, can you bring it? Eleven fish. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So feeding my elders, placing those to put them here. Foreign, personal. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll have ten fish in there. Need to build some buildings. Fishy buildings. So I could, before you use an elder, serve fish, but only one plate. 
And now I will use this elder to build a ship or a building, which I'm going to build a building. Where was it? I saw it. The residence. So for three gold, it's going to immediately both one wood and one fish per elder. I only have two elders. So that's only two and two. Building a building. Let's see. Kind of want to build the manufacturer just to get the points. So four wood, three fish, and one gold. All my wood. Three fish. And one gold. Going back down the four singles. Placing that here. At any time... Three fish can equal two wood. At this point, I'm actually out of building a building. <laughs> I could take an elder, though. In exchange... That gave me two points, right? Take an elder. The harbor master. Exchange one ship. A sloop for a cutter or a cutter for a schooner. So I'm going to use him, but before using him, I can serve one plate. So two fish, that'll give me a gold. And now I will use him to exchange my cutter for the last schooner. Don't get any more fish, but I got two points out of that. And with each new elder, one gold in your reserve. And I think that I finished that. So now we'll go on to final scoring. So the way scoring works is I will get points indicated on the buildings, on my ships, and gold in my personal supply, not in the reserve. And then I will lose points according to how many empty spaces I have. So let me do my finger math here. Y'all can laugh at me. Two, four, six, ten, fourteen, fifteen. 19, 23, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. So I scored 27 on this solo game. Let's see what it says. Good players score 30 to 40 victory points. Darn, I was uh, th three points away. So I did okay. That's usually what I score on this game. I thought I could do better. I like this game a lot. I say that about every Uwe Rosenberg game because I think he's one of my top designers. Uwe Rosenberg, Jamie Stegmeier, and Vita Lacerda. I haven't been able to get a Vita Lacerda game on here due to table constraints. This is a nice, tight-knit, very small game. That's why it's really easy to do solo because you just set it up really simple. And it feels like a big immersive game like a Feast for Odin, but it doesn't have the exhausting, taxing things that you have to do every phase. Like the phases are smaller, there's less actions. There's a lot of buildings, but the buildings are very basic. You just kind of pay what it says. And then there's this real tight aspect that feels kind of like Agricola, but not quite as punishing. I don't know how to explain it. I really like this game. I've been wanting to play a four-player game of this. I've gotten a two-player just one time, and it was cool. I want to see more Elders. I want to see how the Elders 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 work. I don't know about a five-player game. I've noticed that five-player games kind of drag out a little bit. I like four. So, anyways, that is how you play Newsfjord for the second time. Like and share my videos, and I will see you next time.